So uh, we'll focus on this X card setup first. Can you get that name? Um, focus on this X card setup, and uh, this is the wheelbarrow finish, right? So a lot of you guys are familiar with the wheelbarrow finish. Essentially, when I line up and I'm here with uh, Andrew, I'm going to go shift to shift, grabbing the back of his knee. As I drive this hand of mine underneath his other knee, I push the step and then set my knee in place. You only have to press it once. There we go. Good. Yep. Now I get myself into a good solid X start and he's directly above me. Okay, so we start real quick. Again, the step is the most important part. Shin to shin, arm behind the back of the knee. As this leg kicks through a little bit, I'm going to bring this arm deep underneath Andrew's knee. So we're here, shin to shin. As I rock, my, the lean of my body weight, leaning his shin into my shin, will take all the weight off this leg of his. He's forced to step, and before his foot hits the mat, my foot is right here on his thigh. So now, the X guard, again, I'm pulling across, kind of getting this X going on in the injury. I don't wait here. I don't pull to X guard, I pull to sweeps. So it's not like, okay, I get him the X guard, then I do a move. As soon as I get him to step, I'm gonna be booting. The, uh, the consummate X guard sweep is what I refer to as the wheelbarrow sweep. I'm sure there's some kind of Brazilian name, Brazilian equivalent of a wheelbarrow. If I kick out here to Andrew, up at not quite a 45, but maybe like a 25 or so, I'm booting my legs out straight, I'm keeping his leg nice and snug to my neck here, I'm able to come up onto my hand. You see, if I need to get a little bit more room, this is about as far as I can kick him, I turn this foot sideways and get a little bit of extra boot, which will help me come up, okay? So you see outside of my foot. I'm gonna get this one more time, even if Andrew keeps his balance, okay? So in this case, Andrew's gonna keep his balance. I swing. My boots in place. Already I'm kicking out. If I need to, I kick in the back of my leg. He's now going to post his hands in the mat because he doesn't want to get swept. So as I'm here in this position, which is not all that uncommon, again, I use this leg to kick. I cut this one underneath. I'm going to step up. At which point, I'm going to transfer his, his leg into my other arm here. And my other arm now is going to come over at his waist as I climb my way towards his back. So I roll through. So if guys want a wheelbarrow, my tendency is to just kind of hang on to his ankle and wait until he falls down or to pick his other leg and end up in his guard. My tendency is to just chase. If I can see somebody's lower back or if I can see the space between their shoulder blades, I'm going to try to occupy that space one more time. A little bit quicker now. So I go right from this swing, again, this big dinosaur step, making this foot lift. As soon as his foot lands again, though, it's already getting booted and I'm going to be on his back quick. So here. Boom. This is my position. Right here, I'm already opening the column, feeding this one, sinking my hooks, I can work my tilt. If there's enough space, I'll already have a hook. If not, I'll just be working my tilt. All right. All right. So